Yo, how's it going everyone? I'm Em. Welcome back to the Tech Block channel. Razer have dropped some insane products the last couple of days. That's not what today's video is about, unfortunately, but I will try to get some videos out as soon as I can about the new wireless Def Adder Pro. We have a wireless Black Widow version 3, and there's even a brand new, I think it's like a wireless uh, Black Shark headset. I think that's one of the new ones. So, Tons of cool new wireless stuff from Razer. I want to have videos coming out as soon as I can about those. But today's video is not about Razer. In fact, it's once again about my PC build because, oh dear, I've had so many problems with this PC recently. Mainly in the form of blue screens of death constantly. Literally, the, the blue screens got so bad that the moment I would turn on my PC, it wouldn't even make it into Windows. It would actually blue screen before it even began to get into Windows. Like, I don't, I, I can't believe the, the things this PC pulled on me, but I think it's actually fixed. I recorded multiple videos, just like the one I'm recording now, and I lost the footage. I couldn't get the footage back, unfortunately. I got like some of the videos back using Isas. They hooked me up with a license key, their file recovery software. I tried to recover files, but it didn't quite recover all of them. That's not the file recovery software fault. That's because the files got damaged or something happened to them whilst I was transferring them from the SD card to my laptop and then everything just disappeared. I can't, I don't know how that happens. I've never lost files like that in that way before, but couldn't get them back. So I'm recording this video again, basically. So I reseeded the RAM, I reseeded the GPU, the CPU. I put new thermal paste on there. I unplugged a bunch of the cables, plugged them back in again, just in case something like wasn't plugged in all the way before. And that's maybe why it was blue screening. Like I didn't have a clue why it was actually hitting me with the blue screens. It could have been like anything, you know, maybe it was like a bad overclock, but I reset the BIOS, I kept everything on like, you know, default settings. I didn't even put a RAM overclock on and it would still blue screen. So I'm like, what on earth is causing this problem? But uh, after I did all those things and I reseeded all those components, put new thermal paste on, the PC, it blue screened a couple times, okay, afterwards, which was a bit disheartening, but to my surprise, afterwards, after I updated a bunch of software using MSI's Dragon Center, I went in there, I went on their whole live update thing, and I updated like the Wi-Fi drivers, audio drivers, things I thought I didn't really need to update, but you know, I just updated them anyway, and maybe, maybe the blue screens were being caused by software all along, just like an outdated driver for my Wi-Fi card or something. I don't have a clue which driver this was specifically. Now, I don't think there's problems, okay? I don't want to speak too soon because it's not blue screened in like maybe the last 24 hours. So I hope it doesn't blue screen anymore, all right? But so far, <laughs> so good, man. Hopefully we can get back to like normal uploads very soon. But that's, that's basically just what I wanted to update you guys on. I try to do a bunch of troubleshooting with the PC and I think I might have actually fixed it. In the end, I don't think this was a hardware problem. If it is actually fixed, I've, I'm, I'm, I'm leaning towards the whole software, software problem being a more likely scenario. It could have been hardware, but you know, it still hit me with a blue screen after I did all those things, you know. So I'm guessing it's software at this point. Anyway, hopefully that is behind us and we no longer have to experience blue screen of death after blue screen of death because honestly it drove me mad for the last couple of weeks like imagine trying to do, like edit a video and then your pc just just turns off or or hits you with a blue screen because sometimes it wouldn't even blue screen it literally would just turn off and um yeah that was like especially annoying man like come on why are you gonna do this to me <laughs> But hopefully that is past us. Hopefully no more issues, man. Before I get going, I do want to ask you guys one bit of advice. One question, okay? I have these brand new Lee and Lee fans in this PC build. These have very minimal RGB. In my opinion, they look super cool. And I absolutely, I just love them, okay? They're just so sick. And what I want to do, yeah, is I'm going to mount uh, the fans that we have on the side of the case right now I'm gonna mount them to the radiator up top there instead of the X-shaped 
deep cool ones and I'm gonna move the X-shaped fans over to the side right here. In total, the way I'm gonna have the exhaust and intake set up is at the bottom, I'm gonna have three intake fans. On the side, those are now gonna be switched to intake and at the top, obviously, exhaust. In this Lian Li deep cool, Lian Li deep cool? Hold up, deep cool don't make this case. In this Lian Li PC-011 dynamic case, the XL version actually supports a 120 if not, okay, no, that's definitely 120. A 120 millimeter fan in the rear, which we couldn't put a fan there in the past, in the smaller Li Han Li Dynamic PC case, the Razer one. This one isn't the Razer edition, but uh, it is a little bit bigger and we can actually put one extra exhaust so that we'd have, you know, a bit more normal air pressure because at the moment, this will be positive air pressure because we have more intake fans than we do exhaust. However, if we have four exhaust and six intake instead of three exhaust and six intake, I reckon that's gonna be a bit more better. So that is the plan. We're gonna have a bit more airflow in this case now that we have an actual bigger PC case. In the past, the fans mounted on the side used to be exhaust, which for cooling, it didn't actually cause many problems for cooling in my PC case in the past. However, cooling my components with this setup has resulted in better temperatures for both the GPU and my CPU temperatures are also much, much better. Probably thanks to me replacing the thermal paste as well. But nevertheless, the temperatures are better with this configuration and they're only gonna get better hopefully once we add another fan at the back right there. But that's where I'm gonna leave today's video. The PC, I believe, is actually fixed. Hopefully we'll get our hands on those brand new wireless Razer peripherals. Oh man, I actually can't wait. Thank you all so much for watching. That's just been a quick update, you know, what's been going on in my life. I also tore my hand uh, whilst doing deadlifts today. I worked up to a top set of 160 kg, which I understand isn't that much. I was only doing sumo deadlifts. I hit three reps today. I know this is a tech channel, but I do do some fitness every now and again. <laughs> I do go to the gym, yeah? Uh, so if you're watching, go to the gym as well. If you follow me on Instagram, uh, on my personal account, I do post uh, myself in the gym every now and again. My camera stopped recording there, but what I'm trying to say is that hopefully me going to the gym would inspire you to go to the gym as well, you know? Dude, if they shut down the gyms again in the UK, I'm gonna be furious. They can't shut down the gyms again because of COVID. All right, I'm gonna get going, guys. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video.